Let's imagine that we have a multiplayer game with a bunch of moving objects which have to be synchronized. If we have an object with the standard network transform script which constantly moves around, it roughly takes 32 to 36 bytes if we sync the position and the rotation, which is 1 kilobyte per second, assuming that we sync it 30 times in a second. Now, if we have 300 of them, it increases the send kilobytes to 300 in each second, and after 10 minutes it is more than 150 megabytes. It really makes sense to think about optimization. First, let's check how network transform works. The network transform uses floats for their position and rotation values. If you don't need an extremely precise synchronization, you can use halves which represent a half precision floating point number. Now, I would re recommend using a Unity asset, SmoothThink, which does the same thing as Network Transform, however, it is much more customizable and supports some very useful things like compressing floats to halves. Let's see it in action. You can see that if we have one object with the SmoothThink script instead of a Network Transform, then the data usage went down from 1 kilobyte to 600 bytes. When we have 300 objects, the send kilobytes are around from 150 to 170, so basically we roughly halved it. Pretty cool, but not enough. If you think about it, right now we are synchronizing every object with every client, even if an object is very far from a client. This is the topic of interest management. We will make the host smarter, so it will only synchronize an object with a client if the client is close to, the, to that object. For each object which has to be synced, we will add this object visibility script. In the fixed update, if the client is not the host, we will not do anything. Otherwise, we will iterate through all connected clients in a for each block. Then, we will compare the distance between the client's transform and the object, and if the difference is less than the radius, in this case 5, then the object will be visible, anyway it will be hidden. The network object's network show tells the server or host that this object will be synchronized with the given client, and network hide does the opposite. Oh, let's check it in practice. You can see that the send bytes have been significantly reduced. If we go to the connected client, the following happens. Only the objects inside the sphere with a radius of 5 will be on the scene. It is quite awesome, but we have a minor issue here. For all the 300 objects, we separately use a fixed update, which is not that efficient. Instead, let's create an object visibility manager script, which has a list of all the network objects, which we want to track on the scene, and in its fixed update method, we will go through all of them and do the same. Now, the last tip is changing the data send rate. The default value is 30, which means that in every second, the transform is being synchronized 30 times. If you have a highly competitive FPS, then it's not the best to lower it. However, if we are talking about strategy game, then it would make sense to lower this send rate. As a summary, here is a comparison which shows the different steps we made in the video to reduce the bandwidth. My best advice is to combine these methods and tailor them to your games.